One of the most meaningful Bible passages regarding spiritual leadership in general, and church leadership in particular, is Romans chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. This is what the Apostle Paul says. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. And then he goes on explaining how this power of God, the gospel of Christ, operates. For in it, he says, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. The biblical concept of faith contains three elements. Belief, trust, and faithfulness. So then, the gospel of Christ is the power of God in which God's righteousness is revealed. How? From belief to belief. From what God believes about you to what you believe about God. Then, from trust to trust. From God trusting you to you trusting God. And finally, from faithfulness to faithfulness, from God being faithful to you to you being faithful to God. This is the modus operandi of God's righteousness. Now, when as spiritual leaders we want to influence people's life, we want them to do the right thing, don't we? So what can we do? Can we force them to do the right thing? Of course not. In spiritual leadership, the use of force, of sheer power, is totally unacceptable. If you try to force somebody into doing the right thing, that is not righteousness. That is called abuse of power. So then, what can we do? How can we determine, how can we influence people so that they will do the right thing? Well, first, let's tell them what we believe so that they can believe the same. Then, let us ensure them that we trust them so they can trust us. And finally, let us always, always be faithful to them. Because only then can they become faithful to us. This is how faith to faith operates. God bless.